Hello everyone! Welcome to the next module on connecting to data using Bold BI. Bold BI can integrate with more than 90 data connectors, easily combine data, build dashboards with simple drag and drop widgets, and collaborate with other users. You can find the list of supported data connectors under the integrations menu on the Bold BI website. In this video, we will discuss how to connect to Microsoft SQL Server database and create a data source using options like SQL Table in Live Mode, SQL Table in Extract Mode, SQL Stored Procedures in Live Mode, SQL Stored Procedures in Extract Mode, Custom SQL Query, and Visualize the Dashboard using each of them. You can also connect to an Azure SQL database through this connection type. To begin with Bold BI dashboards, you must first register with Bold BI. To learn about the registration process, check out the video Getting Started with Bold BI, which is linked in the video's description. Before we start creating a data source, let me explain the two different data processing modes, Live and Extract. In Live mode, the source data is connected and processed directly by Bold BI for any dynamic operations. In Extract mode, the source data is connected and query data will be imported to an intermediate database for further processing by Bold BI. A maximum of 50,000 records are extracted initially, and the remaining set of records will be extracted in subsequent iterations based on the refresh settings. Now let's see how to create a data source from a Microsoft SQL Server database table in live mode. In the Bold BI web application, select the data source element in the navigation panel on the left. Now the data source's listing page is open. Click Create My Data Source in that page. Now the list of supported data connectors will be displayed in the Add Data Source page. Under Categories, choose SQL and select the Microsoft SQL Server Data Connector. Enter the name for your data source, a description, the server name, username, and password. SQL Server 2008 and its later versions work fine. Versions prior to 2018 should also work fine. You may need to whitelist some IP addresses to avoid service disruption. To learn more, see the section Creating an SQL Database Connection in the blog Introduction to Bold BI Data Sources. You can find the link to this blog in the video's description. Make sure the mode is set to Live. It is set to this by default. Enter the database name to connect your live data and then click Connect. You will be redirected to the Data Source Designer page for editing. You can find more information about the Data Source Designer in a separate video, working with the Bold BI user interface. The link to this video will be provided in the video's description. From the Table Explorer, drag a table, in this case we'll use Product Details, into the Table Designer pane. Under Data Preview, you can see the preview of live data fetched by the SQL query that was executed while dropping the table into the Design pane. Click Save and Exit to save the data source. Now we have created an SQL data source from a Microsoft SQL Server connection in Live mode. Similarly, you can also connect views present in your SQL connection in the Design view, just like tables. Simply drag and drop an SQL view under the View section in the Table Explorer to the Table Design pane. Next, let's see how to create a data source from a Microsoft SQL Server database table in Extract mode. Repeat the steps for establishing a live connection with an SQL table, but stop before setting a mode option. In the Add Data Source page, after filling the required details, choose the Extract mode. This mode is preferable when you want to reduce the hit on the production server database where the data resides. You may schedule the data extraction such that the query hits the production server database only at the scheduled times. Scheduling the data extraction can be done with the refresh settings. Next to the database name field, you have the option to choose the refresh settings interval 
from 24 hours to one month. For this data source, I will set it as 24 hours so that the data will be refreshed once every 24 hours. After that, click Connect. Now you'll be redirected to the Choose Table Configuration Wizard. There are two types of data source refresh settings available for SQL data sources in Extract Mode. Full Load and Incremental Update. Choose the tables in the left pane and configure the refresh types for each in the right pane. To set full load refresh for a table, select it and turn off the incremental refresh setting in the right pane. Here, I am setting full load refresh for the best bowling table. With full load refresh, all the records present in the intermediate database table will be removed and query execution will bring in all the table data from the source database. Hence, all the updates, insertions, and deletions in the data up to the refresh will be reflected. Likewise, to set incremental update refresh for a table, select the table and turn on the incremental refresh setting in the right pane. Select the last modified time column from the list of the timestamp columns listed in the drop-down box from the selected table. This represents the last modified time of the records, which is used to fetch the records modified here recently. Here, I'm choosing the date call column from the general details table from the incremental update. The incremental refresh setting remained disabled when the selected table doesn't have the primary key column and a timestamp column. These are needed to enable incremental updates. Finally, click Connect to extract the selected tables along with their configuration settings and get into the Data Design View page. The extracted tables will be stored in the intermediate database with the name and the format, table name, underscore, schema name. Drag and drop the required table from the Table Explorer into the Table Design pane and click Save and Exit. Now, we have created an SQL data source in extract mode with full load refresh settings enabled. Next, let's see how to connect a stored procedure in an SQL server database in live mode. Create an SQL connection in live mode as we did earlier. After filling the required details, click Connect. Now you will be redirected to the data source designer page. You can see the available stored procedures along with their parameter lists displayed in the tree view on the left. Drag and drop the desired procedure into the table design pane. Enter the perimeter values in the perimeter dialog if the stored procedure has some. And click OK. You can edit the supplied perimeter values later by using the Edit Perimeters option available in the created table. Now, click Save and Exit. And thus all there is to creating a data source connecting a stored procedure in live mode. Next, let's see how to connect a stored procedure in SQL Server Database in Extract Mode. Create an SQL connection in Extract Mode as we did earlier. Fill in the required credentials and click Connect. Now you will be redirected to the Tables dialog. You can see the available stored procedures displayed in the tree view to the left. Select the desired stored procedure, enter the required parameter value, and click Connect. Once connected, the selected stored procedure data based on the supplied parameter will be extracted and stored as a table in the intermediate database. The Data Design View page will then open with the extracted stored procedure table listed in the tree view to the left. Now you can drag and drop the table from the left panel into the Table Design pane. You should note one thing here. The stored procedure follows only the full load refresh model for regular updates of data in Extract mode. Now, click Save and Exit. We have created a data source connecting a stored procedure in extract mode. Next, let's see how to create a data source through a custom SQL query.
fill the credentials and click Connect. We will utilize the code view option available at the top of the data source designer. This feature allows you to define a data source with manually written queries instead of manually drag tables. Write your custom SQL query in the query editor and click the Run button in the Tools pane of the Data Design view to process the query. A data preview can be seen in the preview grid in the bottom pane. Now, click Save. With this, we have created a data source connected with the custom SQL query. Now we have created data sources that connect with SQL Server in Live Mode, Extract Mode using Full Load or Incremental Updates, Live Mode with Stored Procedures, Extract Mode using Full Load with Stored Procedures, and Custom SQL Queries. Next, let's create a dashboard using the data sources we created. Lists of created data sources will be available in the Data Source page in the Bold BI application. Select any of the data sources and click its Context menu, and choose Create Dashboard to create a dashboard using the data source. Now you will be redirected to the Dashboard Designer user interface with a blank dashboard. You can also add other data sources to the dashboard. For that, click on the Data Source pane in the right navigation panel and click the Use Existing button, where you can find the list of previously created data sources. Select any data source and click Add to add that data source. You can find more information about each option inside the Dashboard Designer in a separate video called Working with the Bold BI User Interface. The link to that video is provided in the video's description. Configure the widgets using the selected data source to create your dashboard. Drag a widget to the canvas and connect to create a data source. You can customize the widget to your needs through the settings available in the Properties pane. To learn how to create a dashboard from scratch in the Dashboard Designer, connect to your data, check out the video, Creating your first dashboard available in this playlist. Finally, you can see the sample dashboard created. Now you can publish and visualize it. Click Yes to visualize the dashboard. In this video, we discuss how to connect to a Microsoft SQL Server database and create a data sources from SQL Table in Live Mode, SQL Table in Extract Mode, SQL Stored Procedure in Live Mode, SQL Stored Procedure in Extract Mode, Custom SQL Queries, and then visualize a dashboard using them. This demo focused on connecting with a Microsoft SQL data source. However, there are many other options for file connections such as Salesforce, Twilio, and more. So please post a comment below letting us know what other data sources you are interested to know about connecting with Bold BI. In our next video, we will explore transforming your data with Bold BI. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.